I know I say it a lot. I say to go ahead and create value-rich content, but what the heck does that even mean? How do you create it? And what is it that your audience wants to see that's valuable? Well, in this mini cast, we are going to tackle that question. Episode 108 starts right now. Welcome to the Laura Shipman Show mini cast, a special edition of my podcast where it's just you, me, my mic, your earphones, plus quick tips and hacks you can implement immediately to improve your life and your business. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's dive in. All right, let's get this mini cast started. On today's show, we are going to talk about seven quick tips that will ensure you are putting out value each and every time you post on social media. So let's dive right in. My first tip to add incredible value to somebody is actually creating a transformational post. What does that mean? All it is, is something that you give, some sort of information that you give somebody that will transform their lives. Now, it doesn't have to be a huge transformation, so don't think that you have to come up with this grandiose post or anything. It only has to make a little impact, a tiny impact, as long as it changes somebody's life. Maybe it changes their personal life. Maybe it changes their work life. Maybe you teach them how to save some time. Either way, you transform something that they've been doing one way into something different that really helps them out. So think about how you can create transformational posts. Okay, the next type of post you can provide somebody is create content that is usable. Always ask yourself this question before you post. Is this post useful to my audience? Why would they care about what I am sharing with them? If you can answer those two questions concretely, you're just going to win every single time. So again, ask these two questions before you post. Is this post useful? And why would my audience even care in the first place? All right, the next tip I have for you is to create something that's easy to execute. People do not like to be overwhelmed and they often avoid complicated things. I know I do. If I see a really long post with lots of things I need to go through and steps, I kind of tune out and glaze over. So create content that breaks concepts down into tiny little steps that people can execute immediately. And maybe you break it down over several posts and give it to them in bite-sized pieces so that by the end of a series of posts, they've transformed something in their life. So that's two for one there. So if you can really give somebody something that's easy to execute that transforms their lives, mm, that's a bonus. All right. The next one is share a shortcut. Who doesn't love a good shortcut, right? Especially if it saves time and you probably have a million of them stored up somewhere that you use on the daily. So go ahead and share those with your audience. Don't be shy. Let them know. The next tip I have for you is help help people become more successful in their life or their career. Share with them a list of tools that you use to do something better or faster. All right, my next tip is share a process or formula. I love it when someone shares with me their X step process to complete, I don't know, X, Y, Z. It makes me feel like I learned a superpower and it makes me feel really special. Like they actually confided in me and they gave me their trade secret, which was always protected. And then that makes me want to come back for more to come back to their account. Okay. My next one is reveal industry trends and how to apply them. This is a great strategy to use if you're trying to position yourself as an authority figure or a thought leader in your space. So think about and do your research about what are the emerging trends. Okay. Those were my seven tips for today's mini cast. And just as a quick recap, you want to think of transformational posts. Number two is posts that can be usable like right away. Number three, are they easy to execute and implement? Number four, share a shortcut. Number five, share tools and trade secrets. Number six, share a process or a formula that you use that's tried, true, and trusted. And number seven, reveal industry trends or emerging trends. I hope that was helpful. I look forward to seeing what your content looks like. And if you want to, 
go ahead and tag me in your content. Let me know that you used one of these tips and how it's working out for you. Stay social, my friends. Before you go, I just want to say thank you for tuning in and listening today. And I wanted to share something with you. As a podcaster, it's a unique experience because you're talking into a microphone and you're sending a message out there. And it's almost like talking to a black hole of sorts. You really don't know who's hearing your message and if it's resonating with anyone, if you've impacted anyone that day, all of those things. And it means so much to podcasters when you leave a message back for us, letting us know that, hey, the episode was great, or I would love to hear something about this, or just letting us know that you're there. It is huge. So if you could do me the favor of either just leaving me a DM on Instagram, messaging me through Facebook, or leaving a review on whatever podcast app you listen to, I would greatly appreciate it. I just would love to get to know you on a deeper level, maybe have some sort of communication. Maybe you even have suggestions for a show idea. I would love to hear from you. So don't be shy. Go ahead, hit me up on the socials, and I will see you next time.